Hey, Collective, let's see what messages come out for y'all today. These readings are for entertainment purposes only. Y'all, please don't make anything fit. And don't put anything above your own intuition. All right, we're going to start with this red oracle deck. See what messages come out. Spirit messages do you have for my collective, please and thank you. Archangel Michael, please protect me as I channel this energy. What's going on? Tell me. Hold on, y'all. Let's move this back just a little bit. There could be something, something with that, y'all. Take it how it's going to resonate, y'all. Spirit, what's the message right here for the collective? Please and thank you. What messages do you have? We have exchanging gifts. Somebody could be, okay, whoever this person is, I feel like they they know something about you, not about you, it's like, somebody's going to tell you something, this person already know about it, but they kind of want to give you a heads up with this exchange and gives this person, they tempted to reach out to you and give you a heads up on something. Something that they know gonna happen. Whoa. It could be a fucking tower moment. Okay, with this building blocks. All my cars just fell. It could have something to do with an ending. Yep, orphan. Okay, so y'all. Or it could have something to do with your stability. It could also have something to do with somebody trying to make something stick on you. You see these blocks? These little toy blocks. There could be something here with kids or a child. Maybe somebody trying to pin a child on somebody. I don't know. It, it, could, it could be some chaos and conflict going on. Somebody could be in between two situations. Because there's a three on this card. I'm looking at the cards that fell. Hold on, y'all. So, I feel like somebody's uh, tempted to come and tell you something that's going on. But let's see. Spirit. Yeah, five of wands. Shit. Could be a lot of chaos and conflict around some type of partnership. If somebody left you out in the cold with this orphan. Let me see what this is. Spirit, what's going on with this right here? Please and thank you. I feel a king of swords type of energy. All right, so you have the Six of Swords. This is, for some of y'all, this could be like rescue type of energy. But it's it's moving away from chaos and conflict towards calmer waters. <coughs> for some of y'all, it's got something to do with family or like friends. Okay, so you have a Queen of Wands here. Mm -hmm. I want to know family. I told you, Ten Cups. <clears throat> so it could be a family member who comes and tells you something or somebody can come and tell you something about a family member or what a family is doing and I feel like okay so you see how you're in this box this person if they come and tell you it would be to protect you it's like hey I think you should know this blah 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 and, and that's why such and such happened. Or that's why such and such did this, such and such did that. Mm. You might even have to, like, stand up for yourself or defend yourself with this seven of wands. It may cause you to become defensive. It could have something to do with a knight of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Or it could have been something going on for a very long time. Spirit. Someone is also uh, pranking somebody too, child. Baby, baby, baby. Other, other. Maybe it's time for me to give you all the 
So I feel like that's what this person wants to tell you about this betrayal. This Ten of Swords right here. And then, like I said, it could cause you to... It could put you in shock when my cards fell. That was giving me tower energy. Look at this. Five of Cups. And the Five of Wands. There could have been a cancer starting trouble. Um, but what I feel like what this is saying is that you will overcome this. The, the, the chariot is about moving forward, conquering something, and being successful. There's some type of betrayal here with family. And y'all, we've been picking it up a lot lately, in the last week or so. So you have the Ten of Cups, Ten of Swords, and the Five of Wands. So there could be a disagreement with family. This could be an argument. Um, for some of y'all, this doesn't look like an ambulance or a police officer, so something could have even got physical. I feel like the person who was tempted to reach out to you is stressing them out because they know it's going to cause. It's like this person can't sit there and, and watch someone be. They can't watch this no more. Or if they're not watching it, it's like they can't hold on to it. I feel like it's, it's, it's fucking. I told y'all I was feeling the King of Swords. <coughs> It's fucking with this person. Nine of Swords energy. I don't think it's... I don't know if it's this King of Swords that... I don't think so. But some of y'all, this King of Swords could be the one that's... Doing this Ten of Swords energy. Um, but... I feel like the person who's tempted to reach out... I don't know if they're trying to warn you or what. They either... You heard that? Yeah. Somebody could be trying to warn you. Or just enlighten you as to what is going on... With this Ten of Swords. Um, they know when they do it. It's going to cause. Even more problems. But like I said. They can't keep holding on to this. Or can't keep sitting back and watching this go on. So this could be another family member. This could be an outsider. Um, for somebody. I feel like this stuff could be directed. At a Queen of Wands. Man or woman. Okay, yep, look, damn, look at all these tens. You literally have the ten of wands, the ten of swords, and the ten of cups. Then you got the sun. Y'all, this is fucked up. What's that back The tower. Because that's what I feel like. It's going to cause a tower. I don't know what this is. I just know it's involving family. It ain't got to be your family. It could be someone else's family. But it's definitely, for some of y'all, it's your own. And that's why it's gone. That's why the betrayal card is here. Let me pull some of these purple ones and see what comes out. Solitude. Yeah, you are protected by angels. This solitude is given. It says, in silence, peace prevails. So I feel like, because I did kind of pick up, it could give could have gotten physical or it could with the five of wands. You know, like if two people, for some of y'all it's more than two people, it's a whole group. But if people going back and forth screaming and howling, somebody could get upset. Somebody could get fire hot, okay, with this red shirt on. They could get fire, fire mad. So I feel like spirit is telling you. I would hear this person out as much as you can. I mean, don't sit there and just let nobody be screaming at you, right? But hear the person out. But try to look at it from a different perspective. Try to look at it like, okay, where is this coming from? Because it's coming from something. Okay? And I know it's hard in the heat of the moment. I was literally just talking about this earlier with my counselor. It's hard in the heat of the moment to walk away or to be quiet. But I feel like that is what is suggested right here because it just would get worse. It, it could go from people arguing for some, to fighting. Okay? Um, for some of you, after going through this, 
you get in the solitude and you think about where this is coming from. I even feel like spirit has been trying to get you some type of, um, there's something with innocence here because this looks like a mockingbird. And earlier, I, because I've been having a lot of mockingbirds come around and I Googled it. I'm like, what's up with these mockingbirds? What does it mean? Is it something about innocence and purity? So, maybe someone, maybe there was a misunderstanding. Um, whatever it was, I feel like when you're in this solitude energy, you can figure out where this is coming from, why it happened, what part did you play in, what part this person played in, and it would allow for some type of healing. Clear the past to heal the present. Now, why is this happening right now? Anytime you get ready to level up something from, I just was, I was just gonna say something from the past. Something from the past will try to come back and trigger you, and you gotta look at it from a different perspective. It's not just, you know, maybe in the old day you be like, oh, this motherfucker just testing my gangster. Now you gotta look at it like, okay, this is a part of my growth, because I feel like you can handle it differently now. Instead of doing this five of wands. Maybe back in the day you would handle it with this five of wands. Now you get the opportunity to handle it with this solitude energy. Okay? And and there's some type of healing. If not for everybody involved, at least for you, right? You can release something. <coughs> because something was getting backed up with these rocks. Something was getting backed up, child. Um... So, woo-wee. Let's see, y'all. This is going to be different for everybody. I want to get the overall emotion. For some of you, the person is tempted to reach out. They're like... So, for some of you, it could be a family member. It could be a friend. It could be somebody who's just. Now this person is seeing something differently. Because for some of you, this person was with this five of wands. Spirit done lay something on this energy's heart. And spirit is also protecting you. Didn't we see that card protected by angels? Because if you look closely at that. Oh, my camera ain't that good. That's spirit space on the outside of that box. Uh, yeah, this this caused some type of an ending. Or will. Or will. If it's a betrayal, it lets you know the people that you need to walk away from. Because on this building blocks, you think of building blocks. People that you have relationships with, your stability, your home, your sense of security, your comfort, all of that, your job, all of that goes into your building blocks. And there's a 28 breaking down to a 10. There really could be something here with children. Okay? But 28 breaking down to a 10. So you got four 10s on the board right here. You got this 10 here, the 10 of cups, the 10 of swords, and the 10 of wands. Now, around all of this... Is the five of cups with the five of wands. So let's get the overall emotion of the situation. Maybe somebody wanted you to feel lonely. Right? Because we do have the solitude, which is hermit energy, and we have orphan. And if you look on all of these cards, the person by themselves, and the orphan card, they're by themselves, and this they're in this box here. So a lot of the times, rejection. Is for your protection. We saw that card protected. And this card says loneliness. But I know that I am never alone. Okay? Spirit could be really shining light. This something could be going on like global. This, for somebody, this could be happening all around the world. Or something could be online. Something could be on the web. Um, it's something like that going on. Okay, and someone, like I said, it could be an air sign, kind of getting air with this blue or water sign. Someone could have wanted you to feel like that, but the cards say you are, I'm never alone. So, be a Gemini. 
I know the secrets they keep it. All right, what's this beard? <laughs> what's the overall energy in this situation? For my collective here, please. This could even have something to do with like um, friends. I, last night I was getting it. Somebody slept with somebody's friend or sister or some shit like that. There's also something here with science or some child. Okay, spirit. So what's the overall? I feel like this is gonna be shocking to you as to who as to who is involved with this betrayal with this ten of this ten of swords. Okay. Alright, spirit. Well, what's the message? This is um it's either going to cause you, I feel like it's going to cause you to heal something. Oh, it will present the opportunity for you to clear the past in order to heal the present. Some of you in this situation may actually be able to heal something with the actual person, excuse me, and move forward together, right? Here, there could be something here with black and white or differences. Others of you... Because it reminds me of a card in my day that says you have to clear the air, distant thunder. Ooh. All right, spirit, what's the overall energy? What's the overall emotion of this? Guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist, assist in my soul's growth. So maybe that was something that you was believing about someone. And it could have kept... I just heard Ari, 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 Ari. Take it how it resonates, y'all. But it could have kept replaying on your mind, you know, round and round type of energy. This is a big, this is a big betrayal, y'all. 1717. Somebody could be 17. They have envy at the bottom of the deck. But on this envy card, it says, um, I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. So, I don't, I don't really know what... Look, Page of Cups. So, someone could apologize about a fish. A fish could be like pregnancy or a baby or prosperity. Somebody could have withheld something from you. I always get this hat. It's a little bitty dot on this hat and it looks like a camera. So, somebody could be apologizing to you about something. He gives some tea later. Yeah. In about an hour. Yeah. Julie got the lead. I'm gonna send the money. I thought you was gonna make them stay. And I don't feel like cooking them on the eggs. Okay. Alright, so oh, you got and then the tea y'all all the tears that came out. All of them. You got the ten on this building blocks. Ten of cups, ten of swords, ten of ones, and the ten of pentacles. This is a major ending. But since we don't have, like, the death or judgment or the will of fortune, I feel like this could be going for one person. This could have been a couple and a family got involved. King of swords, queen of wands. Whatever it was, because for some of y'all, the King of Swords could be an authority figure. I do see the chair right here, the red, white, and blue. Ooh, what did I say when I first talked on the camera? I said, this might have something to do with it, with the USA. That's red, white, and blue. Something going on, child. And look. Hangman with the Knight of Wands. You know what we said? They're coming, they're coming, they're coming. See, I feel like Spirit wants you to look at something. Or oh, whoever is going through this, okay? Spirit wants you to look at it from a different perspective. Handle this situation differently. Whether it's this person who comes and tells you, or it actually comes in the form of this right here. However this happens to you, solitude. 
Knight of Pentacles again. This is something with teenagers or some kind. I done seen the Knight of Wands and Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. So there could be. And then you have the Six of Pentacles with the Moon. Somebody could. Let me go get my other deck. Somebody could have been paying somebody to do something too. Somebody could have So, I'm going to pull some of these right here. Skip, what's the message? I also, someone could be trying to stress somebody out. That's what it looked like with the Nine of Swords. Or this person could be stressed out. Someone could live near you with this building blocks energy. What the fuck? The ability to raise people from the dead? What the hell going on? Resurrection. Child. I don't know about all that right there. Somebody want to take care of you? Aren't you having insatiable an appetite or desire impossible to satisfy? Some of you have a parent that's a supporter. Let me, y'all, y'all go over there till I get finished. I was finna ask you to can I ever come back. She and I. Can I ask her to come outside with us? Go on, knock on the front door. All right, what else, beard? Mm. That could be something here with somebody's identity with the DMV here. That could be something with someone's identity. But this, they want to take care of you. Where the hell that come from? Some of y'all could be getting a dream job. That probably will come. At, okay, so this could be like a test. To see how much you have grown. Because I'm really getting, you could handle it like this. You could be right here amongst either this person and or these people. And be arguing, fussing, fighting. Or... You could choose to be in this energy. I hold up, Spear. I uh -uh. I ain't got this to do today. But however y'all want to handle this, okay? And what I'm getting with this resurrection, I don't feel like nobody really coming back from the dead. I feel like something that was over and ended is coming back around. 28 breaking down to a 10. Something that had ended or something in the past is coming back around. That's what I'm getting with this resurrection. Yep, meditate. I'm telling you. And what they say? Let that shit go. Baby, I'm telling you. That's how you're going to have to handle this. And think about where it's coming from. Like somebody coming at you just raging. That's coming from somewhere. They ain't just wake up and say, oh, I'm going to go to the collective and rage on that. It's coming from something. Okay? <laughs> I keep hearing Ari. Somebody could, somebody's name could be Ari. Ariana. Something. Someone could have a life pattern number seven. And this is more about introspection. Introspection and self-awareness. Intense inner journey. Exploring your own mind and your soul. Seekers of knowledge. So you have loneliness, which is hermit energy. Solitude, which is hermit, hermit energy. And this... Now, someone could be in the army. That could be why we saw the USA. I don't know. Didn't I say somebody's trying to make something stick? But this card says it never sticks. Somebody's angels could have been calling them. Some of you, your energy can be seen. So, I'm, I'm not really getting why this is happening. I mean, it could be from this. But it says I'm the same as everyone, but with different challenges. Let's pull some, actually, let's pull some of these. This could just be a family situation. Spirit. I do feel like somebody's like, it don't mean they're going to do it, but I feel like they tempted to like, hey, man, I should go tell this person. Oh, it's like, Say this isn't your family. Say you come, you come home and 
Maybe a kid says, hey, daddy's upset today. Just to let you know before you walk into it. Or mama's upset today. Or such and such had a bad day at school today. Just to kind of give you a heads up as to what's going on. That's what I feel like this person want to do. So you can release something. So you can surrender something. 27 breaking down to a 9. Yes. Take action. Nothing will change if you don't take action. For some of you, whatever you are thinking right now is true. It also says do not procrastinate or wait to take the next step. Do not procrastinate or wait to take the next step. Go ahead and do it. Now, when I just started right there, what I was getting was that little commercial I seen earlier. Well, it wasn't no commercial. It was a shorts on YouTube. This man had just got out of jail. As soon as he walked out the door, all these police was right there. They had pranked him, right? As soon as he got out of jail, all these police, he was like, oh, shit. Am I getting arrested? But it was a prank. I don't know why that just came up. Y'all got to take it how it resonates. It really could be, I'm getting a powerful family involved, too. That's what I'm getting with this Ten of Pentacles. For some of you, this could have something to do with the will. This could have something to do with inheritance. Um, a company. Legacy. Property. The Ten of Pentacles is a lot. And that could be why I, this betrayal happened. Oh, mm, the office. Manage your time better or delegate to be more productive. And beauty. See, this is happening to this Queen of Wands. Embrace your unique style on it and let the world see who you really are. Because I said something is worldwide. Like all these women shining the light. They all glowing. Look at them. All around the world. So there's something unique about you. Don't let the world see it. And that, I mean, that could be why this is here too. He, it's you know what it's giving everybody know but you that's what it's giving it's giving everybody knows but you everybody knows your name boom, 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 boom. and we're always glad you came you want to go where everybody knows your name some of y'all someone could be trying to make you leave a place Make you feel isolated. There was some type of motherfucking sabotage. I'm for real. Then you got unreliable people not following through on their promises to pay. That could have been that page of cups. Somebody holding something back from you. Designer. See, this unexpected. That's this talent. But I feel like it leads you to more opportunity. Because you could have been holding on, holding on to someone who was doing you dirty. I'm holding on to something that just wasn't. I don't give a fuck what nobody said. This was some type of betrayal. It was some type of betrayal. With either your someone's family, either your family or somebody else's. And this could even have to do with matters of the heart. You may even have some type of heart chakra awakening. <laughs> okay. Spirit. We're going to go ahead and close this out. Somebody could eat. The divine makes you release whatever the fuck they be trying to say. It don't stick. I said up here, somebody's trying to make these blocks stick. Whatever these blocks are going to be symbolic to. Them. And it could have had something to do with your stability. You know, you could have people going to your landlord, telling your landlord shit. You could have people calling your job. Um, whatever has to do with your building blocks. Somebody could have been telling other people shit. Calling your landlord, calling your job, to try to make life hard for you, ten of wands. Mm. Okay, baby, what we need to see? Emotional sensitivity, honor and respect your deep sensitivity, as it is a gift to us all. Maybe everybody don't see it that way, or this person don't see it that way. This is really, I feel like, really something from the past coming back around, child. But you have your ascended masters here with you um, to help you with the situation. I said last week something was so tough that a walk-in happened. So that you would be able to finish out whatever this is. 10, 10, 10, 10. And it could have happened in a short period of time. It could be something 
between five and ten months, weeks, days, not years. Mm -mm. With the cups and the wands. Now, if it had been pinnacles, I'd have been like, okay, that would have been, it's been going on for a long, long time. Something could have happened for between five and ten weeks, months, days. Powerful, loving, and wise spiritual teachers are watching over and guiding you through this. I feel like you got blessing in disguise also. The blessing in disguise could be that you able to release this person, this thing, whatever it is, child. And it allows you to heal. Okay? And it's also something that either you believe or someone else believes. That's not true. And it's not, it's not allowing them to grow. Okay. So I'm gonna close this out for y'all. Yep, something's coming back. Oh my people. There's, there's people coming back. And they wanna argue for us and fight about something, child. And um, you have throat chakra and the law of attraction. So I feel like if you're not in this orphan energy, you're probably going to feel like it after this right here happens. Because it kind of feels like a 10 on 1 type of deal. With all these 10s out here. So, baby. You might have to eat better to raise your vibration to come up out of this situation. Um, some of you guys are energy healers. Your hands and your heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and your clients. We, what's this? Vacuum away the fear. Call on Archangel Michael and Raphael to lift the fear-based energy from you, your surroundings, the situation, and everyone involved. And what did I take? Look, opportunity to forgive. I, I say opportunity to heal, but... Maybe both, right? With this uh, rejuven rejuvenating rains, it's given retrograde with the resurrection, with the re's, the re energy. Something's being revisited, and I feel like it's going to allow for you to do just like the card say, clear the past so you can heal the present. And on this opportunity to forgive, let's read it. The situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow, and release whatever is no longer serving you on your purpose. Okay? So that is what I have for y'all. I know y'all from the bottom of my feet. Please don't make nothing fit, y'all. Please just take what resonates and leave the rest of it. Okay? Till next time.